Hello, you beautiful rays of sun. My name is Miss Sunshine, and welcome back to more False Outram. Okay, so I did a little bit of digging around for myself, and I found the data room. So it is still on the second floor, but remember we couldn't go inside of that one room. I think it was back this way. That was locked. No, it was this way. Past the stairs. We couldn't get into that room at first, and then we got a chance to open up the door, and I think it was three pigs that, like ran out or whatever. I don't know. Well, I went back into the room and you go up. You go to the left somewhere and it says data room. So we have the key for that. So we're on the move. Don't know what's going to happen, but ooh. and the cat is still with us. Let's see. A piece of yellow mail and an envelope with quite neat and orderly handwriting on it. Okay. More writing. Uh, more reading. The Mr. Valentin, Valentine. The how are you? My apologies for the fact that I am the one responding on Marguerite's behalf after such a long period of time. There were simply too many things to be handled here, and the situation has only became stable recently. It's now the most charming reason springtime season. Good Lord. Sorry. Sorry about that. The snow has melted and the temperature has risen back up to normal, to more tolerable range, whatever. Dr. Wagner disappeared into the blizzard. I trust that you've read about it in the papers. We still haven't given up hope on waiting and hope that you also pray for her return. But please don't worry, the person that we mentioned to you in the previous letters is here. The situation here is quite good as of now. So is Marguerite. So please be at ease. Please don't try to find us. Marguerite doesn't wish to see you. The weather is early spring. It's still quite erratic. So please take care of yourself. D.B. Siebel. Hmm. I don't think Marguerite actually said that. And yes, I am. And I'm going to save it inside a slot too, because why not? Ooh, there's an umbrella. A large white umbrella. I got an umbrella for some odd reason. Nice. There was an empty space that would just fit a book. The cat tried to use his front paws to reach into the bottom of the space, but its paws didn't fit. Oh, okay. A painting locked onto the block to the wall. Okay. I can't read anything on there. What's this? Paper scraps with crayon drawings on them were stacked upon the table. It's a cage. The blue bird of happiness. There was a kind brother and sister duo in an unfortunate family. After an unfortunate Christmas on a sad evening, the witch told them that there was a blue bird in a faraway kingdom that bring them happiness. Thus they took with them their burdens and set foot on their journey. Sorry, leaving the unfortunate family. That's kind of hard reading that writing with all those colors there. Any anywho, how to create a golem. Most believe that creating a golem starts by creating a human shape out of clay and writing the Hebrew word truth on its forehead. I think I've actually heard that before. If any of you have seen, I think it's uh, True Metal Alchemist Brotherhood, it was either that show or it was another show where they actually did that. There were golems created and I think the word truth was on their forehead. So that's pretty darn cool. The golem will wake and start to move and return to dust if the word on his forehead has changed to death. Good to know. And there was nothing up here. Okay. Let's go forward, I guess. What's over here? There was a piece of paper spread out, a fragment torn from the mail. The handwriting was smudged from the humidity and was difficult to make out. Good. April 15th. I cleaned the house. Great. Awesome. I wiped down everything quite clearly, no matter whether it was the furniture, walls, railing, carpet, or that axe. It was a pity, but I also threw away most of them, away my most beloved bracelet. Ugh. Although I'd washed it multiple times, I still felt that it was unclean. I actually hadn't verified the significance of Marguerite's name appearing in that register of names. Perhaps it wasn't as I thought, but the me at that time was unable to think properly. I knew that it wasn't my fault. 
it'd be fine if I just told everyone the truth. Someone would have naturally come by to pick up this place, to pick this place up, whatever. But what about Marguerite? Did she know, yet still sponsor this business? Was she helping the doctor? Would she be taken away? I couldn't say a word when I thought of this. I told that person my thoughts. Please think of something. I pleaded with him. So was that the doctor? A long match. Heck yeah. Should we save that puppy? Let's see. Homunculus is literally translated as little person from Latin and indicates a life from form that was created artificially. Different methods of creation are noted in direct records, such as mixing human blood and dew in a mercury flask and refining it for a, a month. Ugh. Maintaining it at the constant temperature of horses' womb, the mass of matter was slowly formed into blood vessels and nerves. This is kind of gross. Then continues to heat and add fresh blood, a small person will be born inside the flask. They appear the same as human children, but need to be fed each month. Okay. The interpretation of dreams. Brood postulated that nightmares are the manifestation of one's desire. Oh wait, we read this, didn't we? We'll read it again. But that these desires materialize on multiple levels and sometimes even take form in an opposite direction. However, no one would agree that the only function of dreams is to fulfill desires. Is someone dreaming of being chased by a killer secretly wish to be murdered? Frost said, would say yes, because all dreams exist to fulfill desires. That wouldn't be true. Actually, you know what? No, say, say that. No, 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 continue. Sorry. Get that out of that. Um. Do I need something to reach the thing here? The book here? Yeah, the cat tried to reach it. Hmm. Do I have anything? I have an umbrella. Pull up the umbrella. No. I don't know. I... I don't know. Lock to the wall. Um... Wait, no. I have a long match. Will that do it? Oh. Okay. Yeah, pull out the umbrella. Oh, darn it. Okay. Never mind. Put the umbrella back. Or not. Never mind. Don't do that. I don't know. Save here. Just in case. Okay, so I am thinking that uh, the person who she was with before... Marguerite, um, I don't think that they want us to see her, like, at all. Did I check these? Crap. I did check those, stupid mice. Um, yeah, because it seems like they're always speaking for her, and it seems like, oh, no, yeah, she's doing fine, she's doing great. Oh, by the way, she doesn't want to see you guys, like, at all. It doesn't really, something's not right about that. Can I? Oh, I can't. I can go outside from here. Hmm. Am I supposed to go here, though? No, 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 no. Oh, gosh. I don't like this. Get me out of this room now. I don't like... Whoa, wait a minute. What is that? What? What? That window was open. Forget it. Screw it. We're going out. We're leaving. I don't want to deal with that. Yeah. We're, we're not staying in that room at all. At all. So there was no reason for me to go in there. Okay, so I have an umbrella. Still have the key. And the key says right hand, but I don't know what that means. Did I check these drawers? I did. Do I need to use the match on something? Because that's the thing, I have a long match, but... Do I use it on anything? What can I use it on is the question. Hmm. 
There's something I need from that data room. Is the mouse really blocking my way? You stupid jerk. Okay, I think I can get from outside through here. Yes, yes, I can. Okay, um... Hey, it's boxed up now. No. No, wait, mouse, why are you in the way? Why are you even here? Oh, okay, okay, hold on. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. I want to see if I am able to go outside, because I have this umbrella, but for some other reason it's not letting me go outside. Why is that? Is there a mouse blocking this window? Okay. So why do I need an umbrella? That's why I need an umbrella. Okay. Let's try heading back downstairs and then out the doors through the kitchen. Yeah, we'll do that. Don't know why, but we're going to do it because we have an umbrella and that leads outside. So, put two and two together. Hopefully that works. And do I need a book or something to put on the thing? That's what I'm thinking. Maybe I need a book. Oh, no, 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 I'm going the wrong way. This way. Yeah, it's this way. Yeah, yeah, you're still breaking stuff. Don't understand why. You jerks. Anyway. Shouldn't be a mouse over here. There was. Is there anything out here that I need? I don't think so. Crap. Okay. Anything from the kitchen that I needed? I don't know. Could possibly be. Nothing there. Dead fish. Could you give that to the cat? Broken plate fragments, yada yada. Let's see. Stop. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. That's where we found that one thing. Anything on here that I can use? I'm also trying to look for, like, let's see, the witch's thumbs were written on the sides. Okay. There were no wooden pieces in hand. Okay, so I do still have to find wooden pieces. Okay. Nothing with that. Do I have to use the long match? For something. Anything. What do I use it for? I have no idea. I am at a loss. What does it, what does it actually say? Let's see. A long match that can light things from... Oh. Okay. Oh, I can't use it here. Alright, let's try using it now. I still can't use it? Social butterfly. Wait, why can't I use it? It says to light things from further away. Wait a minute, go back, go back upstairs, head back to the data room, because if you remember, amongst all those bookshelves, there was like a little gap in between one of the bookshelves in the data room, and maybe I have to stand in between that gap and try to reach whatever it is from there. If so, that's extremely stupid, but we're going to try it and see, and if I'm right, I'm going to be extremely mad. Let's see, where was it, right here? What was that bookshelf? No, the bookshelf was over here. Hmm. It says to light things from far away. But... I don't know. There was nothing there. I checked all of... Oh! What is this? Did I already read this? What is this? Oh, okay, never mind. Sorry. I already read that. Yeah, 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 yeah. And none of these books say anything. 
inside the homunculus and the gala. Yeah, 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 yeah. Interpretation of dreams, blah, blah, blah. Oh, didn't mean to do that. So where am I supposed to go? I read that. I have to create a golem. Okay, okay. Uh, bleh, I don't know. What am I supposed to do? Chair. You don't do anything. Hmm. To light things from far away. I don't know what that means. What does that mean? To light things from far away. I have no idea. I don't have my axe anymore, do I? No, I don't. I don't have my axe anymore. Crap. Alright, I'm going to go ahead and go save. Which is right here. I'm going to save it in slot 2. And I'm going to go ahead and end the video here. So, we're starting to get a little bit more backstory about Marguerite and this whole doctor situation or whatever. And I think it's uh, her brother who keeps writing these letters back and forth to her. I don't know. Not entirely sure. I, I'm starting to understand that the uh, diary pages are Marguerite's. So, she's literally documenting everything that happened. I don't know. I don't know where this whole game is going to go. I don't know where the storyline is going to go, but it's kind of interesting so far. I do really like it. I really do. Anyway, thank you guys so much for joining me for this, and until next time we meet, stay sunny side up, guys. Bye!